In the old days, the Negroes were concentrated mainly, uh, I think the first assembly district uh, location was round around, around, around Fleet Street, Gold Street, Prince Street, Myrtle Avenue, and that area. But they began now to concentrate in Bedford Stuyvesant. And so in, in 1933, a group of us met at my house, then at the corner of Troop and Jefferson, 523 Troop Avenue. And we organized a political organization. The United Action Democratic Association. Fully determined to concentrate our efforts towards breaking the barriers down. In 48, incidentally, and I want to emphasize this, that I was not only the first Negro elected to the assembly in Brooklyn, but as the first Negro elected to any public office in Brooklyn. We had no assemblymen, no judges, no senators, no city councilmen, no nothing. In 1968, of course, we all know that the next significant break came through when Shirley Chisholm was elected to the Congress. The penalty that good men pay for not being interested in politics is to be governed by people worse than themselves. Ralph Foster Weld, who wrote Brooklyn is America, he concludes his book, The Story of Brooklyn's Peoples <coughs> Becomes More and More Complex with Each Passing Decade. Each group grows to adult stature in the, day, in, in the great democratic community as its members acquire the capacity to appreciate the cultural gifts of other groups. Brooklyn, in its progress, has always found leaders who know the necessity of political cooperation, and tolerance. Tolerance, of course, is not universally practiced in the borough. But there are enough people practicing it to make it work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Baker. It's a great privilege to have had you come here some 300 years after people of African descent came to Brooklyn, and 150, at least 150, after elections were started in Brooklyn, that the man who first was elected from that race came and told how it was in the process. I think if we last another 100 years, this will uh, be extraordinarily important, the details of how he did it. <laughs>